And tonight I'm going to talk about how to take clay water internally, which is very interesting for a lot of people. A lot of people freak out when I tell them about this. So just to get started, um, you can sign up for our newsletter and you get 5% off. And so it's a really good deal if you want to sign up for the newsletter. Um, also, we have the clay on like a tiny little bit of a special tonight. So it's $9.65 instead of $9.99. Okay, great. Well, let's get started. So really quick, I'm going to do a little bit of history about my history with the clay. And I did Accutane two times and after each time it came back, which was really frustrating. And it was like not the most fun thing ever. And my story with the clay is I had met a friend and she had the most beautiful skin. And I was like, tell me everything you do for your skin. Cause I was so sick of having acne. And she's like, I drink this like clay water stuff. And she's gorgeous. Like she's the most gorgeous person ever. She told me she drinks this clay water stuff and I was like, okay, like where do I buy it? What do I do? And she's like, you go to the store that I work at. And so I went there the next night and they, um, this other girl that had like zero acne was like showing me the product and I was like, okay, I'm doing it. Like, I don't even care. And they have, they mentioned to me, they were like, there's a class on the clay tomorrow night if you want to come back. And it's like really informative. And I was like, oh. Well, that would be good. So I went back the next night and um, he's now a, a dear friend, but his name's Neil Bichard and their family's like the one that owned the clay originally and then they sold it to Redmond um, Clay. So really good friend. And then he taught me a lot on how to use it internally as well. Like other things I could use it for. So I started doing it and I would say within the first month, I noticed some changes. I still had a lot of acne, I had like a lot of hormonal acne and like a lot of my T-zone area. Um, I still had a, quite a bit of acne the first month, but then by month two, um, it was gone, like a lot of it was gone. I would say about 85 percent cleared up and the first month it cleared up a lot I mean it was an, it was enough motivation to keep me going but um, it wasn't like all the way clear and how Neil explained it is that the clay kind of goes where it needs to first in the body and it heals that area and then it goes out from there so for me um, he talked about doing it after a heavy meal and so he would tell me, drink it after like a heavy meal and see how you feel. Because anytime I would eat for like three or four hours after, my stomach would be like in pain. And I would be in like the worst pain ever. And so I remember like, it was like a couple nights after the class, I was like, oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I'm like, I'm going to do it with that guy who was telling me. And so I did it and I didn't do it the right way. And... It still worked. Like I still within like 20 minutes, I was like, whoa, my stomach isn't hurting anymore. And so like for me, I was like, oh, this is cool. So flash forward a couple months, I was just like, wow, this is like working way better. Um, and he had told me in the class, well, all of this in the class that you want to stick with it for a while. And so I did it pretty consistently for about a year. Um, like where I was drinking it like every day for a year. I was probably drinking a little bit too much looking back. I was drink I kind of replaced it as my regular drinking water. Um, so looking back, I think it was like a little too much, but for me at that time, I think that's kind of what my body needed. And so that's what I did. So what the clay does um, is it's awesome. And so fast forward a couple more years, I um, at that same store that I got the clay at, and I would buy raw milk there too, um, I found out they were hiring part-time on Saturdays, and I was like, this would be like a fun part-time job. So I worked there, I ended up working there full-time, and then I ended up doing their personal care, 
and helping out with seminars. And I have been to over, probably at this point, about 35 clay classes with Neil. And they're awesome. He's fabulous. I learn something new every single time. And I probably teach people how to use the clay, I would say, two to three times a week. Um, for like the last eight years, like at least. So I talk about this quite a bit. So if you have any questions on the topic, feel free to ask. I will take more questions at the very end. Um, if you just have like any sporadic random questions, I will answer those at the end. But I'm gonna go ahead and kind of um, talk about the clay really quick. So this is the rhythm clay that I'm talking about. And um, I sell it on sillyskincare.com, so you can get it there. And it's on a little bit of a sale today. And it's like my favorite product, you guys, like ever. Like, I love it. And I work at this health food store in Utah. I was always telling everyone to like buy it. Like, I love it. And so um, it's probably like one of my favorite things to do like to use. So what I do um, is I drink the clay water. Now you can do pills with it, um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But really quick, what the clay does is instead of everything kind of detoxifying out through your skin, out through your face, it helps your body reprogram to, to detoxify out through the bowel. So that's kind of like the whole name of the game with all of this, like we're gonna take everything we're gonna detoxify out through the bowel. Um, clay, you know how your body needs vitamins and minerals? Clay is like the mineral part. So it has tons of minerals, it has, um, it's 97% iron, it has manganese, magnesium, iodine, it has small amounts of calcium and potassium, but it's just like mineral, so like you're getting straight minerals. And you know how like fruits and vegetables, they all have like different minerals that we need. All of those grow in dirt and in clay. So that's where they're extracting, when they get their roots, they're extracting the minerals from the earth to build their own minerals. So like, instead of like eating fruits and vegetables, you're kind of going straight to the source, if you will. So it's awesome. And the girl that explained it to me, she's like, it's kind of like the king cleanser out of like all the cleansers. It's gonna help your body cleanse everything out, but it's also going to help remineralize everything in your body. So it's going to help remineralize the gut. So if you have like IBS, Crohn's, or anything like that, it's going to help rebuild your digestive tract. It helps um, lots of other different things. And I was a little bit low on iron last week, and um, I've been drinking it like the last couple of days because I was like, and I drink it probably like a couple times a week where I take, sometimes I just take the pills like once or twice a week now, just kind of as maintenance. But I don't do it um, every day now, but I do, like, if I'm ever sick or anything, that's, like, my first go-to that I do. Um, also, it's a prebiotic, and so a lot of people have heard of probiotics, but you actually need prebiotics to nourish the probiotics. So my example with this is if you have, like, a garden, you want to lay that soil layer down. Otherwise, you're throwing like seeds on cement and they're not gonna grow. So you want to put that soil layer down. So a lot of people, I will tell them to drink the clay water for about two to three weeks, even up to a month. Depending on your digestive tract, if your digestive tract's really bad, I would probably do like a month and then introduce probiotics. Because you need to lay that soil layer down and then you're gonna plant the seeds and then the seeds can grow. So a lot of people have told me, they're like, well, probiotics don't really work for me. I don't, I'm not getting the same benefit. And I kind of had the same issue too, but when I took it back and like did the clay for a while, it worked a lot better. But yeah, um, so it's a good prebiotic. Remember, soil layer, we're laying that soil layer down. And then um, I have a really good brand of probiotics that I love. And there's one called Natron, and it's on the blog on my website. So you can go there, you can read about it. It's like my favorite probiotic. I will tell you, it's not cheap. It's not a cheap probiotic, but it works like super well. So it's amazing. Another great thing about the clay is that it's a little bit more alkaline. So the pH of the clay is about, I wanna say it's at 8.7 to 9.3.
So it's really um, alkalizing to the body, but it's not going to alkalize you too much. Um, and so, yeah. And then, yeah. How much a day do you drink? So I probably take, the recommended amount is about a teaspoon internally, and that's probably what I would say, like, each day that you would use it. Um, and how much water would you mix that in? The so I need to go over that. How are we going Sorry. over? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. So one other thing with minerals is that minerals need water to work. So when we're, we make this, this is why we're putting it in water and it actually works better when you drink the clay water. Um, another cool thing about the clay is that it's gonna bring you into the center. If you have like constipation or diarrhea, it's gonna bring you like into the center that way. Also, clay is negatively charged for like ion, with like ions and then toxins in your body are positively charged. So it binds to those toxins in your body and then it like pulls it out through the bowel. So whenever I think of clay, I think kind of like of a pulling thing. So like when you use it on your face, it's pulling the blood to that area. When you're taking it internally, it's pulling all the toxins out through your body. So just kind of think, I just think of it as like a pulling um, characteristic. It does, it's not like an overnight fix, you guys. And so like a lot of times, I love all of you, but sometimes when I hear people that they're like, I've had a, like crazy acne for like 15 years, what, what topical product can I use? And like, well, you kind of have to do it both ways. So for me, like when I started drinking the clay water, I was still eating like, not like the best food. I wasn't eating like, I was kind of starting to get off refined sugars at that point, but I wasn't eating like great food and it still worked for me. But I will say like, I would have like a couple pop up a month, like of zits. But when I stopped eating like refined sugars and like stopped drinking pasteurized milk, like my skin got so much better. So I will say like, this is why it's so important to do stuff internally as well as externally. Cause you wanna, like when you think about acne, acne is coming out of your body. It's coming out of your body. So to just treat it topically, it's not gonna do you a lot of good. Like you kinda wanna stop it before it starts. Another like, like word analogy that I have is like, if you have the toilet bowl that's like overflowing, um, with toxins and you're just like wiping down like the seat to like clean it off but you're not like fixing like the root cause and you're not like cleaning like fixing the toilet from overflowing it's gonna keep overflowing you're gonna keep having to clean it like topically so this is like the best way to like clean it internally and there's also other things that you can do like activated charcoal is really good I have chlorophyll I have a lot of those things like linked on my blog um, under Lara's list or under the, um, there's other blog posts, the, the last couple, two or three have like good links to products that I really like and I've noticed a difference with. But this is kind of like the one thing that you definitely want to be doing like all the time, like every day. Um, especially if you've had acne for like longer than a couple of years especially with hormonal acne. So hormonal acne, it is kind of a different beast because you want to balance your hormones, but clay, um, sugar affects hormones. So sugar can affect your hormones a lot. And so when you give up like refined sugars and then um, drink clay water, it's gonna help detoxify the ovaries and like your reproductive system is gonna help like get all those toxins out. Um, so yes, yeah, so like for me, like the clay, I feel like it got rid of like a lot of forehead, nose, in this area, but there was still some stuff that was coming on my chins and then on my chin. And um, I did like, uh, like this kind of cleanse thing and some in other internal things to help kick it to the curb. And if you like have more questions on that, I do consults for $25 for a half hour or $50 for an hour. And like, I can go over like kind of a whole protocol. And you guys, thanks so much for voting yesterday. Um, I'm gonna write like a quick little ebook that's like 20 pages long of like, just different ideas and different things that you can do to help get rid of acne because you really have to approach it from both ways. You have to approach it internally and externally. Um, because it's coming out from the internal 
So some people can like try a product and it clears up externally for them. But that would happen for me too. Like I would try a new product and I was like, oh, this was, this is great for like a little while. But then like I would still have like zits, like a couple, like one or two. And then, then it would get worse after a couple months. And then it was just like this back and forth. And like once I got to like the root cause within my digestive tract, using the clay, like I hardly get like any zits. I get some that I'm not eating on my diet. And that's the thing with like, this is like, you don't have to be like 100%, but even if you're like 80% eating well and then like 20% having stuff here and there, you should be good to go with the clay. So, so yeah, it's like my favorite thing um, ever. So yeah, so I can't emphasize more that like you have to do internal work if you've had acne for a long time as well as topical stuff. I just, I get really sad and like really frustrated when I hear people that just want to do like one quick thing topically to like fix all their acne, like all their cystic acne. It just like, to me, it's just like, you've got to do both. And like, hopefully, yeah, if you do find something that one thing topically that helps you, that's great. Like some people with the salt scrub, with my salt scrub, they do the salt scrub topically and it like works great for them. I don't know why that is, so some people I can work for, some people it doesn't. I was one of those people that it didn't, and it was very frustrating for, like, a long time. So, I'm really grateful that I found the clay, and then I drink it, and it really doesn't taste bad, you guys. And so, I'm going to show you how to mix it. So, what I did is last night, I'm going to show you how to make it first, and then I'm going to answer questions. Okay. Really quick. So, last night, I made this. I put way too much clay in here, and so, and this also is still a little murky, as you can see. So I drank it, and it's probably a little too much clay. So you could dilute this down at least by half. So it should be like a little clearer than this. I usually do a fourth of a cup in a two-quart pitcher, and the instructions for this is all on the website under the product. And I looked at it again today, like just read through it if you have any questions. Um, and I can also help answer any questions at the end of this and then also some DMs in the next couple days. So what it does is see how down here there's more clay at the bottom? It like settles. So this should be like a little bit more clear, but when you pour it out into a cup, um, let me grab a cup really quick. And the thing that's nice about this picture, and I would say you want to get a, um, a hard plastic picture or a glass picture if you can, but you want to make sure it seals. So if you look at this picture, I was putting my clear water in here, but the thing is, is that it was kind of exposed to the air, even when I would turn it and it had this thing in the middle, which was like super annoying. So I got this picture and I don't like it. But you want to do the hard plastic for sure. But I got this other one and I like it a lot more. I just used way too much. <laughs> so yeah. So when you pour it out, it's going to look like this, um, just like that. And so sometimes it can be more clear or this is probably like, this is probably like the murkiest. I would drink. Um, so yeah, so that's a little bit too murky, but it should be like a little clearer than this. So you don't, so what you do is you, I pour off a cup like each day, okay? So you pour off, you, I put this in the fridge and then I let it settle and in the morning I drink clear water off the top and then you drink about a cup of this each day in the morning. It does give you an energy boost, and so, because remember, it's 97% iron, which is good times, but it um, it will give you an energy boost. So, I usually tell people in the morning, you do want to take it about an hour away from any medications that you're taking. It can absorb the, to the toxins from that, and then some people, they've had like one or two people find that their medications weren't working as potently, so they just tell everyone, Take it an hour 
away from um, medications. So let's go on how to make it. So, do you want to come up here? Yeah. This is where the magic happens. And I used to have a wood for this and I can't find it. So that's why I didn't find that pitcher. But, so you get about a fourth of a cup. So this is a two quart pitcher right here. This is not a two quart pitcher right here. So I just put it on the top, just like this. And Taylor, do you want to come and look up in here? So people can see, can you guys see that? So you use like a whisk, and you guys, this is not rocket science. You can use less clay than this if you want to. Like this is just kind of how I learned, and you could use less clay. It doesn't matter. Like the more clay, you don't, have, you don't drink the clay. You don't drink the actual dirt. You wanna drink the clay water. So you, I whisk it up, or you can stir it up. If you have like a lid, sometimes I would put it a little on and then I'd shake it like really firmly for like a minute or two and that would mix it up. But it, if you can kind of see like it doesn't, it kind of like clumps up a little bit, which is fine. Like that's no problem. So at this point, you do not want to drink the clay water. You can drink clay water, but you want to drink water after it. The reason why is the clay um, water works with minerals. So you want to let it settle overnight in the fridge. You're going to get more benefit from it when you let it settle. It like the clay absorbs into the water. Um, there's been times where like I've been in a pinch and I've done this way, but I just drink water after. Or if you like make pills with it, you just have to drink extra water because again, minerals work with water to work. So you have to drink extra water. So this, you guys like my awesome whisk. <laughs> I got bent. Um, so you would do it like this and then in the morning, it would probably be like still a little bit murky, but the clay will settle to the bottom, just like this has last night. Some people, this freaks people out if there's any murkiness. It depends on the type of water you use, and I've even used water, I've used tap water, and sometimes it'll go murky like this, and sometimes it doesn't. It is kind of weird, but it sometimes will go murky, sometimes it won't. It's okay to drink it like this. Like I've had it like this. You could like dilute this down with more water. It's not, it's not rocket science, you guys. It's just like you're just putting dirt in water and drinking it. It's kind of weird, but like... <laughs> But the key thing is letting it settle overnight in the fridge. So that's why I always make sure like it's water um, airtight because you don't want stuff from your fridge getting in there. Um, so yeah, so that's how you do the clay water. And then also this clay that's at the bottom right here. Um, oh, sorry, one other thing you guys. When you get down to the bottom of this, you can refill this water two, you can fill it three more times, two to three more times. So you fill it once and then you can fill it two more times. And then at that point, you kind of use all the mineral content that you can out of the clay. That clay at the bottom, you can use that as a face mask. So it'll be wet and can use that as a face mask. You can also use the rose spray and just with the clay if you want to do that as a face mask. So like, I'll just get like a little bit of the clay, pour a little bit of like, unscrew this, pour a little bit of the rose spray or the lavender jasmine, and then use that as a face mask. Um, so there's another thing you can do. So yeah, so always remember, let it settle overnight, at least eight hours. But honestly, just overnight. It's like, cause you don't wanna drink it at night. So like if you're to do it in the morning, you don't wanna drink it at night. So just make it, this should last you about like a couple of weeks. And then when you re, well, not a couple of weeks, when you pour like a cup off, it lasts you a little while and then you refill it the two, the two more times. So this right here, my first time when I was drinking it, this lasted me about six months. So this is $10 to so six months. So like it's a pretty cheap like way to take min your mineral supplement there's a lot of mineral supplements out there that are like hundreds of dollars and like it's crazy like to me like how much 
they spent. And a lot of them are like extracted from salt. And so like the clay mine where it's at in Utah is right above the salt mine. So they're all coming from the earth. Um, and it's actually cool. Like you can see like the staircase, to, like where Indians would go and get the clay for, um, they would call it like sick stomach or like sour stomach. And so it's really cool. Like clay, like Indians used it for like thousands of years to eat it, to like get rid of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's awesome. And then also one other cool thing is when, um, in Africa, women actually will drink it or like eat it during pregnancy and after pregnancy. And I do get a lot of questions about people doing it during pregnancy and people freak out. So what I would do during pregnancy, I would probably be drink like, like a half cup to like a fourth cup. You don't have to drink a ton during pregnancy. You don't have to drink it at all during pregnancy. Um, like I want you to do what you're comfortable with. And if you're not comfortable drinking it while you're doing that or while nursing, I wouldn't do it. It has, I mean, it does have like a slight detox reaction. And some people are like, you don't want to be detoxing while you're breastfeeding because you pass those toxins on to your baby. But I would think like a very small amount you'd probably be okay with because your body has used all your mineral stores for the last five years to make a baby. And so you're just replenishing those mineral stores. So a lot of people that I would work with um, were like, I've had like two kids and I'm like so depleted. I'm so tired all the time. And I do that. And then we'd have them drink clay and they would start feeling better because they were remineralizing everything in their body. Um, I've had a lot of moms, um, use this for babies that have um, like eczema all over their bodies. I would probably not use it younger than six months. You probably still could. I mean, it's not, I would just do like very small amounts, but I would have some moms put like a little bit of clay water in like the baby's bottle, like really diluted. And I had so many moms come back and be like, oh my gosh, their eczema is like totally gone. So it's fabulous. I could talk to you guys for like another hour about so many people that have told me so many beneficial things that they got from using the clay. But, um, but yeah, it also, it does have a lead warning on there. I just want to have full disclosure. It does have a lead warning on there because it is coming from the earth. It's not like the toxic type of lead. So like there's different types of lead and this is not like the toxic type of lead that's going to give you like a third eye or something like that. But um, the reason why it's on there is because of Prop 65, and in my frequently asked questions, it's on the contact um, tab, I link to an article there that talks about it. And so like a lot of places in California have like the Prop um, 65 warning on stuff. And so like you get about the same amount of lead if you were to eat spinach. So like you would also want to make sure while pregnant to not eat spinach or like any greens or anything like that. Like don't eat any salads if you're afraid of lead because you get trace amounts of lead. Um, but this is like the beneficial type of lead. Can you know how you have like good calcium, bad calcium? It's like the good calcium. Anyway, um, but yeah, there's an article linked on the frequent last questions page that explains about it. And so like, but honestly you guys, if you're not comfortable taking it, like, it's fine with me. Like you, I'm not trying to pressure you to take it. I'm just telling you like this worked for me. Like I tried a million things for my acne and I freaking got rid of my acne by drinking water, like this clay water. And like it totally went away after like 14 years. Like it was amazing. So, um, I'm just sharing you like what I love. And so if you like are any, have any concerns, like by all means, like you don't have to take it. So, um, also one other quick thing, you want to make sure not to store metal in with it. So like if you ever have the clay and you say you have it like this and you're like, oh, I want to save it for like a face mask. Don't use any metal. You want to use all, um, hard plastic, like BPA free plastic. Um, and again, make sure you don't drink it at night. It'll give you an energy boost. I was having insomnia for a while and I couldn't figure out what it was and it was the clay water. So yeah. And again, it's on sale a little bit. And a couple other fun things. After I do the clay mask, sometimes my skin will be a little bit dry because it's pulled the blood to the area and it's kind of like pulled the excess dead skin cells off. So my skin kind of feels like a little bit dry. I will use the serum after the face mask. 
because it will kind of help moisturize everything. Um, and then also I decided to show you guys this because it's new packaging. I'm so excited. So this is a new lavender jasmine salt scrub in the package and um, yeah, it's really fabulous. And you can use this also after the clay mask. So, okay, hit me. There's a bug. All right, someone's asking, you know, is asking, um, do you know if it can help with your thyroid function better if you have thyroid issues? I think it, I think it would because it's, it's going to remineralize everything. Um, there's definitely other herbs and stuff like that out there that can help with thyroid, um, like um, black spruce. If you put like a couple of drops of black spruce um, on your and then put it right on your adrenals and like right on your thyroid, that can help like boost your adrenals and thyroid because those go together. Um, but yeah, it would, it can help. Um, I've heard of a lot of people at helping, but like some people are different than others, but I would, I would say that it couldn't hurt. So it can also help detoxify stuff that is around the thyroid. Also a thyroid really quick, make sure you're not spraying perfume like right on your neck that can decrease your thyroid if you're doing that. Will it affect the stomach acid level since you mentioned it has a pH level of eight, of 8? No. So, like, it'll actually help you balance, bring everything into balance with your stomach. So, like, it's not going to, like, it's not so alkaline that you don't want to do it for, like, if you're doing baking soda every day, like, long term, I'd be like, like, that might affect it. But it's just, it's like 8.7, so it's just a little bit more alkaline, but it's not super alkaline. But it's not going to decrease the um, acidity of your stomach. So. What do you use externally for acne in the back? In the back? Yeah, like back knee. Clay water. Um, I would use, you could do like a clay pack with it. You could also do the salt scrub. I would say it would help with back acne. Um, some people not eating wheat can help. Um, their back acne and um, also there's like also an emotional component to like a lot of stuff so like if this isn't all working for you let's talk about emotional stuff later during a consult but um, sometimes it's like feeling like pressure on your back like can I like, get off my back and so like there could be like an emotional component to it too personally I think a lot of times people when they get back from the gym and they have like gym clothes on they don't shower right away. I have done a lot of back facials where they don't, like, it's just kind of like stuff, like residue building up. So, yeah, that helps. Um, so someone else is saying, think green toe 21. She said that she followed the instructions on your site, but it still looked a little darker like that. Yeah, that, and that's fine. That should be fine. Like, and you can still dilute that down too with more water if you want. So yeah. Okay. No worries. And then someone's asking on an empty stomach if it's okay to have it on an empty stomach. So, yes. I actually like it a little bit better myself on an empty stomach. But some people kind of don't. I would kind of see how you do. I've done it both ways. I've done it like after I eat because my stomach, again, like I was saying earlier, it would always hurt. So I, um, I've done it like 20 minutes after I eat or like after I eat when my stomach was hurting. And I've done it like half hour before I eat. Um, I think it's both good both ways. Oh, it's also oxygenating, you guys. So it's also going to help with, um, if you have like, any parasites or anything like that, it's going to help oxygenate everything. So to kill off the parasites, helps oxygenate the body. Kind of where it plays like oxygenating. So it's kind of, it's really cool. Is it okay to use a metal whisk? Yeah, it's, a, it's okay to use a metal whisk when you're using it, but you don't want to keep this whisk in there. And you guys see, this is already, like, settled a ton. So see how much, let me move the camera again, babe. See how much clearer this is already at this point? And this isn't even overnight. So it really should be pretty, it doesn't have to be pretty clear. And you guys, I think a lot of people, like, get weirded out. They're, like, if I, they're drinking any of it. You can put, use this as a base for smoothies. I personally think you're gonna get more bang for your buck if you do drink the water. And it's also kind of creepy. There's times where like you kind of crave the clay water and I would drink it and it's weird. And then there's some times where I don't. So like kind of like listen to your body, like get in tune with like 
do I want some clay? Do I, do I need clay today? Do I not need clay today? Like, kind of see, like, where you're at. So, yeah. How long will it keep in your fridge? Um, I would say probably up to a month. I, there was times, maybe even a month and a half, there was times where, um, when I get down to this and I am using the clay at the bottom, I would wash my, I would put it through the dishwasher and then start all over again. So just kind of like wash it, keep it clean, keep it sanitary. So. And does it have to be refrigerated? No, but I think it tastes a lot better refrigerated. Like we also sell, the Redmond also has the real salt and I, that's the salt I use in here. And the real salt's amazing. I personally, it's weird. I like the salt warm if, I, if I'm drinking salt water, but I like the clear water cold. I think it tastes better that way. Weird. And someone is asking how much water is in that pitcher. So I, this is a two quart pitcher. So I just filled two it up. Quarts. This is two quarts. Yeah. So in that instructions also on the website, this, like if I would have done this over again, I probably would have put about an eighth of a cup in here. In this smaller picture but to see how this picture is bigger than this one I probably would have done a little bit less and then also it goes more clear depending on the type of water you use I would just say use the best water that you can so some people like reverse osmosis spring um, distilled wh whichever you want um, tap water is fine too I started with tap water that's how I did it and I would have sometimes working, sometimes clear on all of those. So it's kind of, it's a weird, it's a weird thing, but it's not gonna affect how it works. What affects it is letting it settle overnight. So. And then someone else is saying that rumor has it that magnesium and minerals actually help with morning sickness. Yes. So this would essentially be the same thing. Yes, and magnesium, you guys, oh, I forgot to mention this, magnesium, is your relaxing mineral and it has lots of magnesium and magnes which balances out the magnesium and so it um it's gonna help that's why it helps like relax all of your stomach muscles so that if you're constipated it's gonna help everything relax so some people it can cause um a tiny little bit of diarrhea if they're like stopped up i don't even know if i would even say diarrhea but like some people it's like kind of help them get up it also helps a lot with cravings. So if you're craving tons of chocolate, chocolate has tons of magnesium. So magnesium. So lots of women around the period will crave chocolate. By all means, eat chocolate. But like good chocolate. But um, it kind of satiates that minerals. So I had one client, a facial client, about five years ago, um, who was a little overweight, and which was like that was fine. But she was just like. She's like, Laura, like, I'm never hungry, like, drinking this water. Like, she's like, I have my husband on it. Like, we're both drinking this clay, and, like, neither of us are, like, as hungry as we used to be because when you're hungry for, like, if you're, like, starving all the time, your body's, like, wanting different minerals. So when you put, drink the clay, it, like, gives you those minerals internally. So it's really good if you, like, want to just, like, remineralize the body and satiate those um, mineral needs. So, yes, you could definitely use... A small amount for morning sickness so and then someone said just hopped on what's the name of this stuff but I think someone already answered it but you want to show it yep on the camera? this is the Redmond clay and Redmond is, bentonite clay and it's on yeah, the website it's on the website um sleeskincare.com you type it in for them yeah um and someone's asking about why no metal, like what's the problem with having metal it'll, in it? In it, when you store it, because it'll rust. So it like reacts with the metal and it will rust. So I, one time I had it in a glass jar, but I had a metal lid and I totally like spaced it. And like, it was probably like a week later, but like a little bit of rust started forming. And I was like, oh yeah. So I mm -hmm. replaced it with a plastic lid and it was fine. So also you guys, if you're super bored, there's this book called The Healing Power of Clay. Um, and I've read it. It's really interesting. Um, 
book about how to use clay, different types of clay. Really fun. You can also use it in a bath. For a bath, I would probably use about a cup. So that would be like a, like a five dollar bath because this is about two cups. And so it would, but it helps detoxify. And I would do as hot of water as we can stand. And then you can do that. Or you can also do like a foot bath with it. So sometimes I will fill up like a sink with like really, really hot water and then put my feet in and then put about a cup of clay in there and it will pull like toxins from your body out through the clay in the water. How often do you drink it? Now, I probably drink it once or twice a week. But if you're drinking it to get rid of acne, I would drink it every day for about, depending on how bad your acne is, I did it for about a year. I probably do like for at least a year I did it like pretty religiously, I would say every day. And then um, years like two and three, like it was kind of like every other day or like four, like five out of seven days. So I still, I still drink it quite a bit and I've been drinking it for about 13 years. So yeah. That's it on the questions. That's, okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you have any other questions, DM me. Um, happy to answer any questions or email us. Again, it's on the website. If you want to type it in, Taylor, did you type in the website? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And yeah, hopefully this is helpful for people. Again, you always want to do internal stuff as well as external stuff to get rid of acne. This for me worked fabulously and I tried a million things um, in 14 years. So this helped me a lot from like stopping the acne from coming out. So you guys, I love the clay. It's like my favorite thing in the world. So thank you so much. And we'll um, notify you guys when we do another Instagram live. If you have any topics that you want us to cover, we'd be happy to do that. We also have our old Instagram lives on our Facebook page. So it's um, on Facebook under Sweet Skin Care on our page. And then we also email them all the lives out. So make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Um, you get 5% off on your purchase. And we also include like awesome deals on our newsletter only. So sign up for it. So, all right. Thank you everyone.